Hi everyone, if you want to stick on for just a few quick minutes, I'm going to show you all about Motivity and what we have to offer. Let me just go ahead and share my screen and make sure that all looks good. Hi, I'm Kara Lucklighter. I am a BCBA and Director of Sales at Motivity. And I just wanted to give you an overview of what our software looks like. And it's gonna be super quick, really high level. And if any of this interests you, just please, uh, Chelsea's going to put a link into the chat where you can schedule some one-on-one -on -one time with me. And then we could really take some time to learn all about the needs of your organization and what you're looking for and really take a deep dive into the system together. But for now, I figured I would just start a session and show you what it looks like to collect data and motivity. Right now, I am on the three learners that I have access to as an RBT. I'm in an RBT view. And all I do to get started is click on my learner and go straight to this collect data button. So super simple. It's loading all of the programs that I have for London. And I actually see there's a session that I started earlier today that I never ended. This is a great point, though, for me to show you this awesome feature where if there is an ongoing session, you can have multiple providers join that ongoing session at once. So you can have a parent in the session, a supervisee, maybe you have another provider like a speech and language pathologist or an occupational therapist, and you can all be in the session together collecting data simultaneously. And not only will you all see each other's data points appearing live in the system in real time, but the system will record who collected which data point. So it's really, really cool. For now, I'm going to end this session just to show you what that looks like to start from scratch. So there are three targets that I did not collect data on during my earlier session that, as I can see, was supposed to end at 2 o'clock p.m. my time, which is two hours ago. So for these uh, targets, it's asking me, were these zero occurrences or were they not tracked? And this is just one way that we're able to keep everything super accurate in Motivity, or you can specify individually if needed. For now, I'll put in not tracked. I can see my session was supposed to end at 2 p.m., so I'm going to end that. And now I know my graphs will be accurate, my rates will be accurate, and I can move on to my new session. So right now, uh, for my learner, London, I have two session types in the upper left-hand corner here. Now, these are essentially containers of targets. So right now, in this typical session target, I have 19 programs with 39 targets. Whereas in this home session, I just have one program with five targets. So it's a really nice way to separate out all of your goals so that when you start a session, you only see those pieces that are relevant to you. We have a lot of clients using this for things like speech and language or occupational therapy. They'll create a certain session type. And you can also assign the specific session types to certain types of users so that a uh, speech, uh, speech therapist might only see speech goals or a parent might only see home goals. So let's get into this session right here that has a lot of really neat stuff. I'm going to put in the start and end time of my session right here. I will mention that we do integrate with Aloha ABA, a practice management system. So if you are uh, using that software as well, any appointments that you have will automatically come up here for selection and you're able to just quickly select it and you're good to go. I am going to choose an interval sequence to start with my session just to show you. You are able to set up partial, whole, and momentary time sampling. And on the back end, you can specify uh, the interval length. If you want an inner trial interval, uh, maybe you want a minimum or a maximum number of trials. All of that is available for you on the back end. But for right now, I'm going to start the session with my partial interval. It's a really quick interval, just 15 seconds. And you'll see it's already going on the lower left-hand side. So I can begin collecting my data and that interval is going in the lower left-hand corner. And as soon as it is complete, it lights up yellow. You can also turn on a chime if you want an audio cue. But it just very simply asks me, did behavior occur at least once in the interval? Yes or no? So I can answer that and I could go back to exactly what I was doing. Now, one of the most magical things about Motivity is that as soon as you collect your data, as I'm collecting these data right here, 
automatically hit the system. It's done. It's synced. I don't have to worry at all. There's no save. There's no reload. In many ways, it feels a lot like paper pencil, to be honest. And what's even better is when you click on this little history icon next to the target, you'll see that my data was already graphed. So right here, this is the session. These are the data that I just collected. If I hover over it, I can see the details. I could go into this graph and I can add a histogram, which adds a trial count below my session outcome. I'm able to scroll down and I'm able to see all of my raw data so I can see exactly what button I pressed. If I have multiple people in the session with me, I could see who collected which data point and at what time. And then you're also able to go really quickly to different date ranges and down below you'll see an average of those sessions. So this is awesome for reporting. So you can even just quickly highlight a certain section and you'll see it immediately updates with that average down below. So this is really fun and this is available during the session itself so that the RBT is able to not only analyze their own data, but take a look at what happened in previous sessions. We thought that was super important. You're also able to split your data by staff if that's something that you want to take a look at. And you'll see that everything here, again, there are no reloads, there are no uh, drop downs to play around with. It's all immediate and the feedback is just right away. And we actually guarantee 99.9% .9 uptime and we've never lost a data point. So in many ways, it really does feel like that tangible paper pencil data that you're holding on to. Uh, the last piece I wanted to point out is that the system is so completely customizable. So whatever your protocol are in your setting, you could program it into Motivity. So the program I was just in is using um, a prompting procedure. So you could select your prompts. You could select how many you want, what you want them to be called. You select which ones are correct and incorrect, showing up with this red and green. You also determine your phases. So this one is just a very simple baseline train completed. If you're, you were using an errorless training procedure, for example, you might set up phases where each phase is a different prompting level, and then the buttons would be adjusted accordingly. If we go here, we see this is just a very simple plus minus. Here's another one with a plus minus. We can do some FCT training with your custom prompting hierarchy. You could even do uh, some peak scoring. Let me go into the training here so you can see what that looks like. But you can set up your buttons to have point values so that as you are collecting your data, you'll see that your session outcome is adding all of these point values together. So it allows you to do things like the peak assessment. It also allows you to do things like create a Likert scale where maybe you're putting in always, sometimes, never, and you decide that always is worth five points, sometimes worth three, and never worth one. So really anything that you're doing on paper pencil, you can put into electronic format in Motivity. I do notice I've been ignoring my intervals. The very lovely thing is I can skip right over any intervals that I did not have the chance to observe and it does not affect the session outcome. Or maybe I was uh, recording it in some other way. I can fill it out and uh, it updates that. And of course, just like everything else, graphs immediately. So I have that available for me right there. You are also able to pin targets to the bottom of your screen. So for example, I have two of my high frequency problem behaviors pinned right now. So I have dropping to floor. So I can collect data as it occurs or I can put in my total after the fact. Because the system and the interface is totally customizable, you can put in whatever you want here. So it's asking me for an antecedent. So I could say something like working on discrete trial. If you wanted to put in a consequence box, you can do that. If you wanted to put in something just simply saying, what happened when London started uh, dropping to the floor? It's completely up to you. And it's a really excellent way for you to be able to communicate with your staff in a way that allows them to record the data so that it's all accurate and you're getting what you need. Uh, for this behavior here, this is a crying duration, so I can start my timer with the incident itself and stop it when it's complete. Or after the fact, I can go in and put in my total. This is simply asking me for notes, so I'll say also dropped to floor. What I love about this is all of my notes are available right in the raw data. So I can take a look and see here's my session right now. I could see my notes. I could see that earlier today, 
there was also another incident and I could see what happened previously. So a lot of really great stuff. Um, so that is a really quick overview of motivity. There's so much to dive into. We have session notes that are completely customizable. You make them look the way that you want them to look and your RBT can uh, reference them directly on screen. Our program builder is phenomenal. You already got a little sneak peek of our VDMAP library, but we also have a Motivity community library with templates for every kind of protocol you can imagine. Your task analyses, your discrete trial, uh, functional analysis, uh, and really, it always keeps building because the program builder is just so incredible that when somebody wants something new, we're able to figure out a way to get it done. So I would absolutely love <laughs> to meet with some of you in a one-on-one -on -one and we can get into all the specifics and take a deep dive into the system. I believe that uh, Chelsea put my uh, demo link in the chat. And mm -hmm. one of really, the, my favorite thing about my job is getting to talk to clinicians all over the world and uh, hearing about what you're doing and how we might be able to help you. So it would be awesome. my pleasure to spend some time together. Mm -hmm. Uh, Kara, there is one question. Um, Emily Smith is asking, is the, uh, is the data system, is Motivity often used in school settings? Yes, Motivity, at the moment, we have uh, clients across all different settings. We have home-based, we have clinics, we have school systems, and really it can be customized in any way to match your needs. So I'd be thrilled to talk to you to see what kind of data collection you need and show you how um, we might be able to meet that need. We also, our references are our best, <laughs> that's our best asset. Our clients are more than willing to talk to you about their experience. So if you get in touch with me, I can also put you in touch with some organizations or schools near you that might be already using Motivity. Two more questions. Mm -hmm. um, how much does it cost? Maybe that's something you can... Yeah, our pricing is really straightforward. I'll actually put our pricing page right into the chat, um, but definitely reach out to me for more information because we have a lot of, uh, we have bulk discounts, we have all sorts of things going on. And then is, uh, is this only on the web or is it an app available too? Good question. So Motivity is browser-based. It utilizes, so any device that has a browser and an internet connection, you can access Motivity on. We purposely developed it like that because we found that one of the things that often leads to data loss is when you have to sync between an app and the server. Uh, so by having this browser based, not only does it go right to the server and it's saved, but it's completely HIPAA compliant because you're not storing any information on your device. It also means that you can have a very, very low internet connectivity. You're not relying on the storage of your device. But that being said, it does use some uh, something called extreme responsive design. So you can access it on a desktop, on a tablet, on a phone size device. And no matter what, the system will automatically resize for best use. So we actually recently did a survey and I believe it was 60% uh, of our clients that responded. Uh, are using Motivity primarily on a phone size device and reported back really great ease of use. Um, we have people using Kindle Fires, again, because it is a very uh, low use system in terms of the kind of storage you need. Uh, you, you don't have to go out and invest in like the fanciest tablet out on the market, which is really nice. Great. Mm -hmm. um, what about, does Motivity cater to collecting RBT supervision tracking? That's a great question. In fact, we just recently added some templates for that exact purpose to the system. I'm so excited people stayed on for this. I'm going to go back and share my screen so I can show you in real time. So with Motivity, you can actually go ahead and add in supervisees or parents as learners essentially which allows you to activate programs from the library and collect data on their behavior. And then also you can create supervision notes, feedback notes, things like that, that would then live in their own timeline and they'd be able to see their feedback. Um, let me show you what it looks like. 
So if we go into our library, this will look familiar. We were just in this beautiful VBMAP skill library. But in our community library, we have staff performance templates. Mm -hmm. And these are just templates. So of course, you can take them and, and just play around and get it to be how you want to use them. But right now we have a procedural fidelity checklist for BCBAs and for RBTs, both as a rating scale and as a simple yes, no. So that looks something like this. We have all of our references in here on how we built this. Uh, so this is that Likert scale I was discussing. And any of this can be applied to the learner and then customized in our program builder, which is really fun. I personally love the program builder. This is my dorkiness coming out, but I love sitting in there and figuring out ways to do all sorts of cool things. Um, what's also really neat is when you're looking in the program library, this is my favorite feature, so I have to show it off. You're actually able to go in and simulate data collection. So we can see here that this is just a train target because we're not really moving through phases here but you're able to actually see how this works. So you can see here that this is um, adding it up. It looks like it's giving me an average actually on the session outcome. So it gives you an idea before you even invest any time into the template, what exactly might happen, which is super cool. Um, just to compare this yes, no, this is similar, but this is if you just wanted to use a yes, no, instead of that one to five rating scale. Uh, but you can build anything. If you already have something that you're using at your organization to give feedback to staff or to caregivers, you can absolutely build that uh, in our program builder. And with Motivity, you are assigned a BCBA from our team. Chelsea is on that team. And throughout your entire onboarding and implementation process, you have that BCBA alongside you, making sure you're getting all your templates set up. They're really learning the ins and outs of your organization. And it's a fellow BCBA, so they'll really understand the needs. We've all been, you know, we've all been in your shoes. We've worked with clients. Many of us have started programs and supervised staff. So we're with you along the way. And then you have that support moving forward um, for your duration with Motivity. So yeah, I guess that was a long way to say, you can build it out however you want and you'll have our assistance as well. Awesome. Um, I am giving out your schedule to a few other individuals. Yay! We have some pricing questions. Um, uh, it, here's one question. Uh, do you have teaching procedures and error correction procedures? Mm -hmm. Yes, we have all of that in our uh, library. So once you go into our library, I should have just kept my screen sharing. I apologize if I'm making you all dizzy. Um, so once you go into the library, um, you will see that in this Motivity Community Library, this is where you're really going to find all of your procedural templates. So everything, you know, here's your ABC data, behavior reduction, uh, cold probes, flashcard fluency, changing criterion, and then this is where you're going to also find your discrete trial, math trial to random rotation, errorless teaching, um, all sorts of stuff. So this is a really nice place to start if you're um, looking for a certain goal, you can take the procedure itself and then customize it to match the skill that you're teaching. And you know that it's already set up to work uh, properly because we've set it up on our end for you. Great. All right, Kara. Well, I think that's all the questions that have come in so far. So for those of you uh, who stayed on, thank you so much for that overview, Kara. And if anyone- Yeah, that was so fun. More, I'm so glad some people hung on and I'd love to chat more with you. So reach out. All right. Um, if you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out yep, to Kara or myself. Um, and you can sign up for a time to delve deeper into our system and talk about your um, organization specific needs. All right. Well, thank you so much. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.